Tonight, there's a huge focus on the Democratic battle for the state's 7th Congressional District. It is the most interesting race maybe of all tonight and has been, Ron, a, a toss-up where, you know, I think a lot of people in politics have tried to figure out which way this will go. Yeah. You really have an unusual race here. You've got two incumbents going head-to-head. -head. You don't see that anywhere else around America. And this is what it's looking like right now. A Democratic portion of Lucy McBath's old 6th district got moved into the 7th during redistricting. So McBath hoping to wrestle a seat away from Carolyn Bordeaux. And it looks as though she is on target right now as she has built quite a lead here. And again, mm. we don't know how many of these votes are in right now. Right. But at this point, smart money would look to be on Lucy McBath. Yeah, absolutely. All right, we have 11 Alive's Kristen Crowley. She is with Congresswoman Lucy McBath's campaign right now in Peachtree Corners tonight. All yours. Well, like you said, it is early in the campaign right now. The vote tallies, they're not 100% in, but if Lucy McBath does hold her lead, I still don't think there's going to be much of a celebration here necessarily because the congresswoman said that a lot of her focus tonight is going to be about the shooting that happened in Texas. That's the focus right now. She went on Twitter earlier tonight saying we are better than this. We have to be better than this. We cannot be the only nation where we pay for the weapons of war in our streets with the blood of our children sitting in our schools. One reason that gun violence is such an issue that is so important to her is because her son died by gun violence back in 2012. It's what launched her political career. So she has staked her political career on reforming the laws that we have around guns. And now the shooting in Texas at this elementary school has just solidified her stance on this. Her campaign spokespeople have been telling me that that is her focus right now. It's not about beating her competitor who was once her colleague. It is right now focusing on changing the gun laws. Now we're not sure when McBath is going to come out here tonight to make any kind of speech or announcement because her campaign says that it's just going to kind of go with the flow as things happen. Uh, it sounded like they were going to wait until all the votes were official. So I'm not sure how far we are out from that. But when we do get more information about that, we will be sure to let you know and we'll be sure to make sure you hear from the Congresswoman coming up here on our air. Back to you guys. Thanks a lot, Kristen. We're going to go with uh, Rebecca Lindstrom. She's with the Bordeaux campaign right now. What's the latest there? Well, Congresswoman Carolyn Bordeaux was actually here already this evening, and she took time to thank supporters, to answer some questions from the media, and it didn't take long for her to start talking about money. She talked about the $3 million that she was able to raise for this primary, which is an extraordinary amount of money for a primary, but was nothing compared to the outside money that Lucy McBath was able to garner to help with her campaign. And that's why she said she knew she was going to have to approach this campaign differently. And here's how she described their efforts. You know, we will see again, if you've watched any of the TV, you know, the ads have been Lucy McBath around the clock. Uh, but, uh, you know, we really have been boots on the ground and turned out a really formidable field operation and field campaign. And I just want to say how extremely proud I am of this campaign and what we have done. Uh, it has been an extraordinary, valiant effort, and I really appreciate everybody doing it. She says she is ready for a runoff if that's what it takes to win this race. For now, she has gone home to watch the election results with her family. It is unclear whether she will be back out here tonight, but certainly her supporters still here, constantly checking those monitors to see what the latest are in the results. And we, of course, will continue to stay out here to get their reaction.